Julian Assange is a name millions around the world now know after the WikiLeaks founder published classified documents to his site beginning in 2010, causing an international ripple effect that continues to reverberate to this day. Assange now faces some 18 charges over the publication of those documents and is now on the verge of being extradited to the U.S. What happens next is anyone's guess as Assange and his family prepare to be embroiled in one of the biggest First Amendment legal fights we've seen in years. ABC's Patrick Rievel spoke with Assange's wife about the case and what it means for his future. Twice a week, Stella Assange makes this journey with her two sons aged four and six. They travel here to London's Belmarsh Prison to see her husband, Julian Assange. Behind these walls, the WikiLeaks founder has been imprisoned for nearly four and a half years. Obviously, the, the context and the atmosphere is very oppressive. Um, the searches are uh, pretty harsh on the children. They check inside your mouth and your, behind your ears and your hair. And, um, and their dog searches, which are quite intimidating. Yeah, that must be very hard. Yeah, they have developed a fear of dogs as a result of the dog searches. There are signs of Assange everywhere here, but in the outside world, he's largely forgotten by most people. That may be about to change. After a more than decade-long saga, Assange is now on the verge of finally being extradited to the United States to face espionage charges and potentially setting up one of the most significant media freedom trials in recent U.S. history. Assange has spent the last 12 years in hiding or in prison, trying to avoid U.S. efforts to extradite and punish him. Back in 2010, he was a global superstar, leading WikiLeaks, the website that exposes the secrets of governments. He published hundreds of thousands of leaked U.S. classified documents, some appearing to show American troops committing possible war crimes in Iraq. Oh, yeah, look at that, right through the windshield. <laughs> the U.S. eventually issued an arrest warrant for Assange over the leaks. He spent seven years holed up in Ecuador's embassy in London, avoiding questioning over a sexual assault case in Sweden that has now been dropped always arguing his real fear was extradition to the U.S. Hello. UK yeah, lost. Sweden. Sweden lost. Any chance you're going to leave that embassy anytime soon? Well, I, I would leave this embassy, you know, it's a bit, it's a, it's a bit of a prison in some way, uh, but I have good people here. Uh, but where would I go to? In 2019, Assange was finally arrested after Ecuador evicted him. The U.S. immediately revealed a secret indictment against him. If extradited and convicted, he now faces up to 175 years in U.S. prison. And that's our great fear, that extradition to the U.S. would be catastrophic for him. Stella met Assange as his lawyer when he was still in the embassy. You got married in the prison, right? We had just over two hours, maybe, together. So we had the ceremony, and then after the ceremony, I was able to go to the visits hall, and I sat with Julian. Everyone was there, other prisoners with their families. Um, but the table that we sat on, we now call the wedding suite. Assange has languished in Belmarsh, one of Britain's most secure prisons, since 2019. His latest and last appeal could be decided within the next few months. The reality is that this is a political case. You know, Julian is, is being imprisoned as, uh, as an example in order to basically bully people, bully journalists. So you believe he could be in America within weeks? Within weeks and certainly within months, unless the UK courts do the right thing. Assange is charged over the leaking of classified documents by former Army intelligence officer Chelsea Manning. Initially, the U.S. charged Assange with a more minor hacking offence. But then prosecutors under the Trump administration brought a second indictment, charging Assange with publishing the secret information. That breaks a long-held principle the government does not prosecute publishers. If they do so, that means 
everyone from the Times to the Post to the Guardian to ABC will now have to look at it as can we even publish this information that we've always published as a journalistic endeavor. It doesn't matter if we like Assange or not. The constitutional principle at stake here is too large for us to ignore. Several leading media outlets, including the New York Times and The Guardian, have called for the Biden administration to drop the charges. The government of Australia, where Assange is a citizen, recently has also called for the US to bring an end to the case. Uh, this has gone on for too long. Enough is enough. President Obama in 2017 commuted Chelsea Manning's sentence after seven years. I feel very comfortable that justice has been served. Some Assange supporters hope the Biden administration might offer a plea deal. The Department of Justice declined to comment on Assange's case to ABC News. What happens if Julian is sent to America? I can't even anticipate what will happen. I can't allow myself to think about that. My efforts are all on trying to get him free now, uh, because if he's taken to the US, I can feel it that he will never come home. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.